What you're about to see is a seminar I gave to a group of actors who were either interested in attending the studio or were new to the studio on how to become more consistently in the moment with their work by utilizing an approach that I developed called the trigger approach. At the end of the seminar, which is divided into about nine segments, there will be a card which will enable you to contact me and find out more information about the studio itself and I look forward to hearing from you and getting your reactions to what you are about to see. So enjoy. You've all experienced being in the moment. You know what it feels like when you do experience it. The problem is that it's an accident most of the time. You all know that when you're in the moment, you do your freest and probably often the most spontaneous and best work you do. The agony of it is how do you know when you've just been in the moment? It's always when you drop out of the moment that you realize it. <laughs> you go, oh, that was fun. How the hell do I get back to that? And then you do the impossible, or you try to do the impossible, which is you try to get back into the moment. And the problem with this experience is that, in fact, it's got nothing to do with trying. Many of you have been told at some point in your development as actors that being in the moment is probably the single most important thing there is about acting. And yet I'm willing to bet you none of you beyond some acting teacher telling you to do relaxation exercises, concentration exercises, make sure that you're prepared and connected before, the, before you get onto set or before you get on stage. None of you have actually managed to find a consistent way of being in the moment because you haven't been told how to do it. About 15 years ago, when I was teaching up in San Francisco at that time, I went, this is crazy. In America, unfortunately, you are often told that learning how to act is a mountain that you have to climb. It's arduous, it's hard work, takes extraordinary levels of concentration and focus. You are often loaded with amazing amounts of emotional obligation, which you almost always feel that you fall short of achieving. And being in the moment of what is one of the obligations. And I'm sure if I asked, went around the room, which I'm going to do later, and said, how many of you are in the moment, maybe 40% of the time when you're working, how many of you would raise your hands? 40% of the time. Okay, let's go down. 30% <laughs> of the time. <laughs> pretty good, 30% is pretty good, you guys. That's pretty good. 20%? Okay. Now, which of the egoists in the room think that they're in the moment 90% of the time? <laughs> I, I sort of pre-framed that so that you wouldn't <laughs> raise your hand. <laughs> What today is about is about beginning a process of giving you an approach, which is what I call it. It's an approach. It's not the methodology. It's not the only way to work. It's an approach. But this approach, I think, if you really start to work with it, will get you to a place where, with practice, you will actually be able to make this accidental experience something that becomes more consistent.